Oof. <laughs> All right. So welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining. And literally, it's early morning. Yeah, early morning. Won't be a long one. Just, just to drop a few pointers before. Because, you know, it is the day before the big day. The morning before the big day. Yeah, the morning before the big day. And later again when I go live, it's the night before the big day. So guys, smash the like button as you drop in. And also hit that subscribe button if you have never done so before. Definitely. My analytics, my analytics are saying that over 70%. 70% of my viewers are not subscribers. Let's see if we can turn that 70% into subscribers and let the 30% be viewers. Let them just, let the third just watch and let it, let the 70 become a family. Let, let that 70% become family of the, of the channel. Because definitely, people can imagine the amount of people who are watching my channel and not subscribing. If you guys really hit the subscriber within no time, I'm, I'm at like 100,000 subscribers. Just if you just just do that touch, just just touch, just if you just touch that button, I'd be a hundred thousand subscribers like no time in comparison to the amount of persons who watch your channel. Now, I have to talk about something. What I'm gonna talk about is Theodore Tapa Whitmore. Now, yeah, we have been talking about Tapa Whitmore for like how long? How long now? For about for about a week or so now we're talking about Tapa Whitmore. But there's there's a few things that I want to speak about. Um, there's a few things. Um, we spoke about it on a stream last night, but I, I need to address it this morning um, because, you know, when you talk, you, 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 you mentioned these things on the stream, it literally, um, some of the time, you, you pass it. You pass it. You don't remember it until you come back and talk about it. Um, definitely. No, everyone is coming. Conrad, Conrad and also um, Mara Music. Big up. Thank you for coming in. No, the two things that I want to talk about is was this interview done at the wrong time and was it the detriment of the squad also is it the interview or just what was said in the interview now for me um first question was the interview done at the wrong time no it was the right time to do an interview and there's never really a wrong time to do an interview um as i said what he said was a Big, big problem. What he said in the interview was a major, major problem. And I believe that is where we, we are seeing the, the ripple effect from that interview. No, that interview, as I said earlier, can be, it can be the detriment of our World Cup campaign. It can be the detriment of our squad right now. No, guys, I want to show you. Before, you just remind me to show you something. I'm, I'm going to show you guys something on Twitter that I saw last night. That will be the last thing I'll be showing you guys. Um, definitely. But it's, 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 it is about Michael Hector. I saw something on Twitter last night. It's about Michael Hector. And um, I'll be showing you guys a little bit later on. Maybe maybe it's the truth about Michael Hector. Maybe it's the truth. Um, but we will see. Um, you guys will ha would have to make up your own mind on that. Because I won't say anything. Um, no, that interview highlights a lot of incompetence in what we are doing and all also highlights a lot of incompetence in what Theodore Whitmore is doing. Now, as media persons, I understand what happens in the media, backroom and all those type of stuff because most of, most of the time, what you see in front of you is not normally what is the truth. No, it is important for you to get the information yourself, but some of the time, certain things cannot be spoken about openly you can't talk about these things openly no you're gonna have some backdoor deal giving you the information and then now you're gonna verify it that's how that's how, that's how it is um secondly the negativity right now that's happening right now i personally believe that it is imp it, it is going to make a major impact on the future of the reggae boys secondly let me show you how it makes a major impact. The young players who are watching everything that's going on, what interest, what drive there is for them to come into a squad so disorganized, a squad that is not together, a squad... What is happening here? A squad that is fighting with each other. I 
so I'm sorry about that, people. I do apologize. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I'm, I'm trying to fix it. A squad that is always fighting amongst each other. I have no clue what's happening. People, <laughs> I do apologize. At first, this is happening to me. I don't know what's happening. But as I'm saying, people, for the younger generation who wants to come and represent the country, this definitely makes it a lot more complicated than it should have been. This interview can be detrimental to what we want to do as a nation. Um, oof, oof. I do apologize, people. I do apologize. Um, but I, I, <laughs> we don't know, we don't know what happened right here. So we don't, we don't know what happened. What, what the heck? You just gone, just like that. I mean, don't have any in the internet issue because I land cable. I, I'm using a land cable. So I don't know what is happening, just just like that. But anyways, that don't stop me from sh from showing you guys what I saw last night. As I said, people, there's a big issue, major major issue. This don't stop me from showing you guys what's happening, but I'll definitely look at that. So I'm going to show you something that I saw last night. Um, someone leaking the beans, I would say. You know, when when you can't bring out the information, someone maybe create a a, a, a blackbuster account <laughs> someone create the blackbuster account so this is the information that i saw last night this is the information that i saw last night no no but i don't know what's going on right there see, see the camera they look like them you look like them are acting for real because we don't we don't know what happened oh yeah they come back I will make a phone call. <laughs> I will make, who made the phone call? All right, so look at this, people. So last night I was relaxing um, and I saw this. Jamaica Football Hub, right? It said one of the players threatened Michael Hector with gunshots. That's the reason why he's not coming back in the team unless the current coach is out. He's not injured. The coach know of the situation after so much years of playing. Similarly, what happened with West Morgan, Alvas Powell disrespected him. That is what that, that, that is what that that is what I saw. That is that is a tweet that I saw. Um <laughs> that is the tweet that I saw, people. Um it's someone, it seems as if someone is leaking some beans, they got some information. And they decided, let me create an account and let me send send the message out there because something is wrong. Um, Edna said, everything this JFF administration and cons um, has have consequence. Uh, consequence. Consequently, its staff does it does at the wrong time. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Um, Chuck Star said, and even so, they 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 came. We all know how successful they are working in their leagues. Now here in Jamaica, what is wrong? Um, young, um, young Kings Entertainment, big up again. Thank you for coming in. I don't understand how there is no build up before the game in terms of press conference. Can you imagine? We have a World Cup qualifiers game and we don't hear any music pumping. We don't, you know, any one of those things to get the fan base going. Yeah. So people, remember, this is what's happening on, 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 on Twitter. This is what's happening on Twitter. Have a good look. That is what's happening on Twitter. Let me read it again. One of the players threatened Michael, e Michael Hector with a gunshot. That's why he's not coming back in the team. Unless the current coach is out, he's not injured. The coach know of the situation after so much, so much years of playing. Similarly, with West Morgan, Alvas Powell disrespected him. So that is what I saw last night, people. Um, 
that's what i saw i won't say it's not true and i won't say it's true i will not say it's not true and i won't say it's true but there can be more details to that but anyways people i won't go any further here thank you guys for coming in um have a good day people please have a very very good day think positive try to do something positive and you will have a very good day please do so people thank you very much military guna tv people it was nice having you so early in the morning um guess what i'll see you guys again later hopefully i'll reach home in time hopefully i reach home in time guys enjoy your day peace out people have a good one